This is Uhuru's M News. Why Erejua II, the Olu of Wari, and Oba Akinzua II, Oba of Benin placed a curse on its Ikiri, and why the new Olu of Wari reversed it. The problem started during the campaign period for 1960's election, when National Convention of Nigerian Citizens Political Party, NCNC, led by Namdi Azikwe, contested election against action group led by Obafemi Awolowo. The NCNC had influence in Old Eastern Region, while Action Group had major support in Old Western Region. The during election the Itsekiri Kingdom voted for Action Group, but some Itsekiri political leaders, who supported NCNC, were angry. According to our source from Itsekiri Kingdom, said the vote Itsekiri people gave Action Group made the political leaders of the area angry, which led to the use of political power to remove the Olu of Wari, late Wilson Besami Imiko. Olu Erejua II. They banished him from his kingdom. As a result, Olu Erejua II relocated to Ogbiz in Benin Kingdom to live. Oba Akenzua II of Benin provided refuge for him. Throughout this period Akenzua II treated Olu Erejua II as king, and this made the two of them to become very close. As a result of the shamefully disgraced, Olu Erejua II and Akenzua II placed a curse, saying, nothing good would come out of Itsekiri. Itsekiri land and Nigeria would never know peace. After the banish of Olu Erejua II on false accusation based on political matter, the Itsekiri politicians appointed another person as the Olu of Wari. According to our source, the curse in Oba and Olu have serious implication. The person they used in replacing the Olu of Wari died mysteriously. All the people involved in the matter died mysteriously. It was late General David Ejor, former Midwestern Region military governor, who now lifted the ban on Wilson Besami Imiko, Olu Erejua II, and restated him as the Olu of Wari, but after over 50 years when they placed the curse, new Olu of Wari, Ojiami Achawats II revoked the curse saying, it is pertinent to recall the fact that following the grave injustice meted out to Olu Erejua II, he visited His Royal Majesty Oba Akenzua II of Benin and recounted his ordeal. In a reaction, a curse was placed on the land by both of them. It is not recorded that Olu Erejua II reversed the curse over the land. Neither is it recorded that Oba Akenzua II did the same. Most probably, the issue was never revisited. As a firm believer in the intricate interconnectedness between the spiritual and the manifestation in the physical, it is our firm belief that the matter needs to be addressed. Today, in our capacity as Olu, we hereby avow. As the spiritual, cultural, political, and traditional ruler of this land, I, Okiame, Atuashe the third, the 21st Olu of Ori, the first son of Olu Atoashe II, the grandson and direct descendant of Olu Erejua II, who was offended on this throne, I hereby reverse the curse placed over this land. In its place, I release forgiveness and healing to the federal government of Nigeria whose might was used to propagate that offense. And I decree unprecedented and uncommon peace, prosperity, progress, development upon this land. I bring down the government of heaven onto this land and I direct it to flow as a force that can neither be sabotaged, slowed, nor stopped. It goes out as a strong ripple effect emanating from this kingdom to the rest of the Niger Delta, to the rest of the Nigerian nation, and even the African continent. <laughs>